what's up guys welcome or welcome back to my channel my name is ashley b deck thank you so much for tuning in today we are doing a 100 percent glueless lace wig install and she's affordable yes this one is under 200 bucks she's about 140 to be exact i'm going to be doing a straight out of the box install courtesy of mega look hair so let's get right into it so first of all i'm going to go ahead and tint the lace on my wig cap did i say tint the lace on my wig cap i'm going to tint the wig cap so that it matches the lace then i'm going to go ahead and show you guys the actual wig this is a closure wig it's a four by four she's 26 inches in length and she's absolutely gorgeous she does include an elastic band which is a plus so I'm gonna go ahead and adjust these straps in the back and we're gonna get to work and the first thing I noticed about this one is that she fits glueless not every closure wig fits glueless so that is a plus that means one less step and this is just gonna be an easy everyday throw on wig I'm showing you guys the full length of this hair It's full from root to tip or lace to tip as you will and the hair is absolutely gorgeous so i'm just straightening out the part here and i'm going to go in with the wax stick from bdeckbd.com and i'm just going to smooth that in and make sure it's all evenly distributed and then we're going to go in with the electric hot comb for a little dynamic duo you guys know how i do it over here i'm going to go ahead and just get the hairline really 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 straight as well as the parting and i love this step because it just makes my wig feel super duper done now it is hot in la whether it's hot it's cold it's humid it's it can be any degrees and i feel like once you step into the elements the vibe of your wig can definitely change especially when you have kids so i did add this flexible hold hairspray that i've been hooked on i found this on tiktok or heard about it on tiktok and i've been trying it out and i absolutely love it i felt like the dynamic duo wasn't enough for the hairline today and it didn't give that super hard press look that i was going for because at this point i was opting for no baby hair which you guys see i did a little bit so you're gonna see how i do that but if you're gonna do the baby hair this probably would be the last step as far as the lace and the hairline goes and then i'm just gonna go ahead and take an eyebrow razor and i'm just gonna go ahead and cut off all of the excess lace this is a great way to get like a jagged cut but unfortunately my eyebrow razor was a little bit dull so it was a little bit too jagged so i did clean it up with the regular scissors and here i'm showing you how this one definitely fits 100 percent glueless now i'm going to go ahead and just use a rat tail comb to pull out a little bit of hair i really wanted baby hair but i wanted it to be kind of like you know just feathery and you know just out the way so this is going to be my step to pretty much form the hair without heat i know we love the the what is it called like the wispy baby hair trend with the um hot comb but i just wanted to kind of form it naturally and like as the wig gets a little bit more old like day one day two the hair will already be naturally formed and i'm just taking my time i pulled a little bit of hair forward i cut it down swooped it decided i needed a little bit more so i pulled a little bit more forward and my edge control is also from bdeckbd.com you guys know everything we use today is linked in the description box and i'm just forming it a great way if it's not swooping right is to use your fingers to like guide and hold the swoop that definitely helps for me and i'm going to repeat those same steps on the opposite side as far as the lace go i did mention that this is a five by or no 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 a four by four closure wig but it also comes as a five by six a 13 by four Four, and I believe it comes as one other lens so of course I have it uh, in the description box but you can get it as a frontal or a closure and there are about four different options as far as lace goes and then of course there are options for length as well as texture so you can definitely go in and get what you want I went ahead and added an, a melt belt to the hairline it's going to help again the uh, baby hair to kind of like form and like because this is a glueless install it's going to help that lace to get real thin and just melt it into the hairline so that it can look glueless and then here i was supposed to go in with the um water bottle and just wet it down but i was down to like the last corner of this can too so i decided to use it up now you guys have seen me use this product over the last couple of weeks maybe months and um, i did pick it up in my local target what i will say since i finished the entire bottle about it is it's very it gives very water-based i'm not sure of what product or what ingredients it has but um it's not as emollient as i would like it to be i feel like with mousse i want it to um you know just feel like you're putting something on the hair it smells good but it just you need a lot of it to to really really saturate so since i didn't have a lot i did go in with that curl i believe it's like blueberry something uh leave-in i'll have the direct um 
details on that in the description box and I added that for a little bit more moisture and then I just used some water to wet it I did go ahead and detangle first and now I am going in with the dimming brush to clump and as you guys can see like I said before as much mousse as I use like the back of the hair still was a little bit more dry than I would like so I am going to go in and just add a little bit more product because it's nice and fluffy which I like but the back of it just wasn't defined so with that Karen Sue product I probably would buy it again but probably not like I there was nothing wrong with it and if I need a quick um product like a quick um mousse I would buy it but it's not my favorite it definitely doesn't go in the holy grail vault I would prefer the leave-in from Cantu in some water now that I've done that, I'm going to go ahead and remove the melt belt and go ahead and tint the lace. I'm going to use this cream foundation from Ruby Kisses and I get this um, on Amazon. I'm pretty sure you can find it in your local beauty supply, but I currently don't live in an area with a beauty supply store with a demographic that would sell this. So I have to find one. And then I'm going to use the corresponding foundation powder along the hairline. I think I used shade 14 or 15 in this. I have been meaning to get shade 16. I bought it and they sent it to me broken. So I have to order another one. And I'm showing you guys that it's still fitting glueless. And as it fools out or like dries up, it looks absolutely gorgeous. I love, love, love fluffy water wave hair. Absolutely gorgeous. But again, the hair, the bottom of it wasn't as like defined as I would like it to be. So I'm going to add a little bit more mousse in a minute. Here I'm showing you guys um, the packaging. It did come in this dust bag as usual. It did come with wig caps, some lashes, as well as a melt belt that says Mega Look on it an edge brush in the color purple um, and then this little leaf style clip and it does have rhinestones on it super gorgeous and this is the beautiful hair here absolutely in love this is definitely a perfect everyday you know just throw on and go type of wig especially getting up to set the kids to summer camp and trying to hit the gym and all of the things this one doesn't slide if it's very 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 glueless and then more importantly it is affordable so check it out i do have it linked in the description box thank you guys so much for watching and as always i'll see you in the next one smooches